Hi, welcome to Miss Marker's Quilts. Today what I'm going to show you is how to put borders on a quilt. You can see on this quilt that there is a really small border. The border that I'm going to put on today is a pretty substantial one. It's actually um, six inches. I've prepared my strips, so I've actually sewn two widths of the fabric together to give me a really long strip of border fabric. And then what I'm going to do is move the camera over here to show you exactly how to measure your quilt properly to attach the border so that you don't end up with wavy borders. One of the worst things for a long armor is to get a beautiful quilt that has been put together and somebody's put a lot of time and their um, money into it and then they shortcut the borders and don't put them on correctly. And then what ends up happening is you get this wavy pucker in your borders and sometimes it actually gets to the point where the long armor has to put a fold into it to take up the extra fabric. So what I'm gonna do next is move the camera over here so that I can lay out the quilt and show you exactly how I measure it. All right, I am back. We are on the back side of my long arm, and you can see I have laid the quilt out um, flat on the back side. And what you're going to need to do this is a piece of paper, a pen, and some type of measuring device. This is my preference. It goes to 120 inches, so I've got um, most size quilts I'm good with, so I won't have a problem. I'm going to take three measurements. I'm going to first measure across the um, top of my quilt. This is actually um, the sides. I'm doing the side borders first and then the top and the bottom. Then I'm going to measure the middle and then I'm going to measure the other side. Once I've done that, I'm going to add those numbers together and divide them by three to come up with the length of what my two side borders need to be. So my first step is to lay my measuring tape across the quilt as straight as I can and I've come up with 83 and three quarters inches. So I'm going to write that down. My next step is I'm going to pull the quilt closer to me so I can get right in the middle of it and I'm going to mark it so that I know I've got my middle. My middle is right at that seam. So now I know where that is. And I'm going to pull it straight across the back of the long arm again. Get it laying as flat as I can. And I'm going to take another measurement. right on that center seam. And this time I come up with a measurement of 84 inches. So I'm going to write that down. And then I'm actually going to flip the quilt around so that it's on my long arm. does take a little bit of fussing, but believe me, it is worth it in the end when you have measured for your borders correctly because your quilt will come out flat and your long armor won't be putting puckers into your quilt. So now I'm measuring the other side. And this time I come out with 84 inches again. So I'm going to add those three numbers together and divide them by three. All right, so I have added those three numbers together and it comes up to 251.75. Divide that by three and my number actually came up to 83.92. Um, so basically 84 inches. 
So my next step is to take my border fabric, which this is my border fabric that I've all prepared completely. And I'm going to measure out so that I've got a full 84 inches and no more, no less. I'm laying it out again across my long arm. You can fold it in half and um, do it that way also. I'm going to take my scissors. I'm cutting off my bias because I don't want, or I'm sorry, I'm cutting off my salvage because I don't want my salvage to be um, in my quilt. And now I'm going to measure from this end down. So that I've got 84 inches. I'm going to do that with both of my borders. And once I've cut my two borders to 84 inches, I will be back to show you how to attach them to the quilt. Alright, I am back. I have got both of my borders completely cut and um, they're ready to go. The other, what I did though was I folded the border in half and then in half again and I marked some points with some pins. Um, these are my favorite pins to use when, that one's bad, when I'm doing borders. Uh, they're nice long I think they're clover, and they've got nice flat heads on them. So what I've done is I've marked some reference points, my center, and then my center between the center of the quilt and one end, and the center of the, from the center to the other end. I've done the exact same thing on the quilt. So I have three pins in the quilt. And what I'm going to do is I am going to put these three pins together and then show you how I work my quilt, my borders um, onto the quilt. Because as you know, there's one point that um, my quilt is a little bit shorter than my border. So I've taken my two pins, I've got them together, and I'm going to pin that one. I'm just going to keep both my pins in there just for now. Now I'm going to move down to my next reference point. You can see I've got my two pins again. And I'm going to do the same thing. Line up my edges and my pins. And I'm going to reposition them. And I'm going to go out to my edge. And I'm going to do the same thing. Grab a pin and I'm going to pin that in place. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Take my pins, line them up together, and secure it. And I'm going to do it at my end. My next step is to take the quilt and I'm going to flip it so that it's easier for me to work with. And my next thing is, is I need to quarter this up or, or divide it up evenly. I'm going to start or as evenly as I can about right here in the center of the two and I'm going to pin that. You can see I've got a little extra here that I'm trying to work in. My pin's over. And I'm going to work this right into the quilt so that I have really squared my quilt up with my border. That's 
really what a border does. A border is, is it frames your quilt, just like the frame on a picture frame, and um, gives you a true square quilt. And by doing this, your long armor is not going to have those horrible puckers that we all can't stand on the edges of our quilt. Um, one of the most frustrating things that I have is a pattern writer will just give you the length of what they cut their quilt at, their borders, instead of what the true borders are based on um, the quilt. So what they really should state is to measure your quilt properly and determine your borders based on your measurements. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my borders in on both sides and then I'm going to go sew a quarter of an inch. I'll press it and then I'll be back to show you how I go about measuring for my two top borders. So I'll be back in just a little bit. Okay, I'm back. And you can see that I've got my first border on. Um, it's on both sides. I'll see if I can get it. You can see it's on both sides. So what I'm going to do now is exactly what I did before. I'm going to take my three measurements. My first measurement. is 71 and a half. I'm going to fold the quilt in half. Okay, I forgot my pins. I left those in my sewing room, so I'm going to have to use one of my long arm pins. So I folded one side in half and I'm going to stick a pin in there for reference point because I no longer have the seam inside of in the quilt. I've done one side. Now I'm going to do the second side. Just folding it in half. Coming up with my center. Got my center point again. So now I'm going to measure that. And again, I'm just laying it across the back of the long arm because I've got a nice long flat surface. to really keep it as flat as what we can as we go across it to measure. And I'm using my center marking as my reference point. And I'm going right across the quilt. And this time I have 72 and a quarter. Wow, that's really off. Let's measure that one again. Let's start at the top. Well, I'll do the third one and then we'll come back and do it again. That's really a lot of difference.
and this time I'm 72. So I'm going to flip this over. I've got such a deviation from the first measurement to the last measurement that I'm going to redo the first one again and make sure that I measured correctly because that's quite a large deviation. I want to make sure. I can see um, when I'm off about a quarter of an inch, but a half an inch is really quite a bit. So we're going to do that again. Okay, yeah, I'm at 72. One more measurement. Yeah, I'm at 72, not 71 and a half. All right, so I'm going to do exactly what I did before. I'm going to add those three numbers, divide it by three, and then I will cut my top and bottom border um, to that length that I'm going to attach it by starting marking my three points again on my center, my center to one edge, the center of that, center to the other edge, the center of that, match the pieces up together, and then I will attach my top and bottom back border. And I'll be back once I've done that to show you the quilt with all of the borders on it. I'm back. I've got all of my borders on. I hope you can see the design of the quilt. This is one of my designs. And my next step is to decide what it is that I want to quilt on this. And once I've done that, I'll actually do a tutorial on how I make my decisions on how I'm going to quilt a quilt and let you see it once it's all quilted. If there's anything that you would like me to tape for you and um, put on YouTube, please do leave a comment below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.